Anytime you're ready. Oh, it's me. We get it right. So recently, a post by blogger Tissia Saffold went viral when she suggested that women explore their options by dating multiple men at the same time. We're discussing it in this morning's Girl Talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start by saying that if oh, Harris... Oh, you have the video? Oh, no, my video. Run the, run the track now. Yeah, I'm going to see the video first. Mm -hmm. I got, I got, I got, I got options. Can we hear, can we re-rack this? Re-rack, okay, re-rack, please. So we can hear what she's saying. Thanks. Single mm -hmm. The second reason why you need to date multiple men is because it takes the emotional offload off of one particular person, baby. You out here stuck on Kevin. Kevin is a four. He's doing a whole bunch of nothing. Boom. But you stuck. B women's biggest downfall is not being able to control their emotions. If you're having a problem controlling your emotions, rejoice, Myers, living beyond your feelings is basically how to control your emotions so your emotions don't control you. Additionally, you're dating in a deficit, you're dating in deprivation, and you're dating in depression. Okay, y'all? Oh, my God. I'm so tired of the apps. I oh, ain't no quality men out here. Da, da, da. That's exactly what you're going to attract, baby. When I step out the house, I feel like I smell good. I look good. Okay? And my mentality is that there are an abundance of quality people, quality men outside. Okay? And look, hotline blinging. Okay, that is how you have to step outside. So enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Enjoy the summer. Be outside and enjoy your life. And that is exactly what you will attract. Okay, love you. Bye. Reasons why you are single in this. <sighs> I know where the hell I blink. Take it on any one thing. What happened? Why are you laughing? No, me like her. <laughs> she held nothing back. Guys, what? Why you look so uncomfortable? What I can't so fault. I can fault nothing. Everybody needs to breathe. Take that a she breath. Has said. Okay? Nothing. Nothing. She's absolutely right. The only thing I was questioning is what is the what is a dating period before it becomes a relationship? Because she mentioned years. No. So what she's saying is that sometimes when you are in a relationship where you commit for years, and that relationship doesn't work out because you are exclusive. Essentially, what she's saying is that you would have wasted the deficit, okay. the years that you've given, that on which you have not gotten a return, are your deficit. I'm going to call them your deficit years. So she's saying what you need to do is not kind of <laughs> lock yourself down initially, but date multiple. Maybe the multiple men will whittle down to one whom you choose. So that's what me I said. Oh, see my like. Oh. Because I'm like, okay, the dating, there's dating and there's being in a relationship, right? So, so the, that's a very important point you right. make. So we've got to, I mean, we say redefining dating. I think the first thing we need to do is define, define dating. Define dating, exactly. Um, which is what Dalia always says, you know, if you establish a, a set of rules and a framework and a paradigm at the beginning of the, I'm going to say relationship, using it loosely because it's two people mm -hmm. in, a, in a construct, right? Um... Then you know what you're doing and you know the rules within you can which you can play like mm -hmm. Shisima, right? Mm -hmm. Where do you move? Can you jump over a man? Can you know the rule? Right? <laughs> <laughs> you are flap. Um, so so is dating just going out there and exploring your options so that like you don't sit inside and or let's, away. let's give it a six months. And let's see how many green flags and get you get and how many red flags you get. And then when I write it down on a piece of paper, like most Madea movies encourages us to do. You know, to write the good side and then write the bad side and look at which outweighs the other. So let me ask you a question. What does dating mean to you? To me, dating is the getting to know you period. It's getting to understand whether or not you're ticking and checking those boxes of my fundamental values that I'm looking for in a partner. So you when know? you're dating, you are dating... You, do you give the dating a particular time frame? Um, yes. Really? Yes. For certain things to Because I don't want to waste my time. So if six months in, you realize that it's possible. You're lucky you're in six. Up. Sometimes it got three. 
right? So okay. she's just saying, you know, if in this so, course. So here's, here's, so your definition of dating is intention driven. It has Our to be. Our definition of dating is just get out there and see what's out there and enjoy yourself. Her definition of dating is do not sit inside and turn the color of the house. You have options. Explore the options. Go have a drink. Go with Bob. Go watch a movie with Harry. Go. But I'm saying, with for kids. how long? For how long are you going to be doing it with Bob and Harry and Mike for three years? Tim. Tim. Okay, Tim. I don't gotcha. know Mike. But he could be one of the multiples. Kids. So this is facts. Exactly. You could go and. You know, eat fish with Mike. Exactly. You know, at some point you're going to figure out like Tim is the worst date ever because he's always late and he's, you know, very boring conversation. Um, and also he, does, he doesn't offer first to get the tab. He looks to you to go to your purse. See, so that's something else that you have to establish. Like, are we pay, are you paying? Am I paying? Are you paying this week? Am I paying next week? Are we going Dutch? None of those conversations are very It have very to nice. come up and usually if you are going out with somebody over a period of time, you will find that these, you know, situations come up and it's telling as to the person's character, you know, yeah. how you deal with your family, how you deal with people, you know, who are not necessarily the most so important you in your estimation. Of dating multiple people? Um, I am, but again with intention and being very clear about it and also letting people know that this is a dating period. So don't expect I'm to so call me girlfriend. Don't expect to be calling me girlfriend and I calling me multiple times and I'm answering and say, what you did there? Look how much time I ain't got answer my phone supposed to talking to Tim. Or Mike. Or Mike. Harry. Yeah. Yeah. I know it it's not it's not traditional for Jamaicans to have this kind of conversation, especially concerning a woman dating multiple men. It's actually more ac acceptable for men to have this kind of conversation, you know, but things and times are changing. Anyways. And with her, I say, explore your options. Be, but be clear and transparent. Be very clear. Be yeah. very clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, life is too short, man. Get out there and have fun yeah. responsibly. And when you figure out what you want, then you start to whittle away at the choices. So, Tim, bye. Mm -hmm. Mike, bye. It's I like real. Harry. This is it. Yeah. Okay, wow. Okay, cool. Anyways, guys, okay. when we come back... <laughs> <laughs> wow, then. When we come back... Do we know what's coming up next? <laughs> I think so. Something. It's there. We'll but stay with us. We'll soon come back. <laughs>